and this is my channel, The Badger Show, and today is Saturday, so we're going to have Spooky Saturdays from now on, Badger Tears. So on a Spooky Saturday, we might get a creepy pasta or a horror game review, or a comic book review, lots of different things on Spooky Saturdays, so it's going to be paranormal and scary themed every Saturday. Just like Tuesdays are top five Tuesdays. Yes, and today's creepy pasta is going to be the all-time classic Slender Man. So I'm going to read that for you in a bit. I really hope you enjoy it, and I hope you comment below what you thought of my first ever reading of a creepy pasta. I'll see you after the spooky fun. After waking with a jolt. YouTuber Maria the German laid in bed for a few seconds longer, reaching over to switch on her bedside lamp. She tried to remember exactly what had stolen her sweet slumber away. When she couldn't, she swung her legs over to the side of the bed and heaved herself up. Checking the time on her phone, she snorted when she saw it was midnight, the witching hour. Knowing that sleep would only evade her, she left her bedroom for the kitchen, a good old cup of coffee on her mind. As she passed the front door, a chill spread like liquid fire down her spine. It's only winter, she told herself, focusing on the coffee again, measuring out scoops, water and milk and sugar, and preparing her cup kept her occupied. But as the dark liquid boiled, she had nothing left to keep her mind from wandering off. The chill returned, and she couldn't help but glance behind her to the front door. It stood there, innocently enough, just like always. The dead bolt was still in place, and she could still see nothing amiss with it. Turning back to her delicious coffee, she did her best to forget the feeling. With her cup in hand, she started back towards the bedroom. As she walked by the front door, she decided that a quick glance out at the peephole would help calm her restless nerves. The chill worsened, and each step she took towards the door and further away from the safety and warmth of her blankets and her cat, Jagger, she pressed her empty hand across the cold metal door and took a deep breath before leading her eyes to the peep hole. At first, she could only see an inky blackness that somehow seemed to swirl in itself. Then, when she blinked in surprise, the void melted away. She wished it hadn't. In its place, there stood what she could only guess was once a man. The limbs were long and inhumanly awkward, with bulky joints branching off into several arms, not unlike the branches of a tree. The creature was draped in a black suit, somehow making the thing more nightmarish to her, the icing on the cake. However, what was passed as a hellish thing's face, it was through her mind, was blurred as a ghastly visage, to spare itself further shock and horror. She shoved herself away from the door, and hand still pressed against it, the scalding mug of coffee fell, the liquid burning her bare legs as she fell backwards and tried to crawl away from the door. She knew somehow that her mind hadn't been playing tricks on her. As she crab walked away from the door, she watched as tendrils as black as the void, she first saw snake around through the cracks and bleed into the wall itself. The girl was trapped between the instinct to flee and the gut feeling not to turn her back on the door. When the door jolted, the urge to flee overcame her as she slipped in the burning liquid as she tried to make it back to her room. She knew deep down that she was trapped, and she had trapped herself in a corner, but she had to get away from the door. The girl was halfway down the hallway 
when Ma Maria heard the previously locked door crack open. She screamed and slipped into the wall, cracking her chin on it as she stunned herself. After that, there was only blackness. Nicole, a warm male voice, asked. As she turned around, she was met by one of her sister's doctors. She nodded, not sure if she should say anything or even if she could find a voice, if she did have something to say. That morning, she had gotten an urgent phone call from the hospital, saying that her sister, Maria, was there. Before they had even let her see her, the doctors had pulled her to, off to one side and insisted that they talk to her about what may have happened. Phrases like self-inflicted and assault had been thrown around and it left Nicole's mind reeling. She hadn't fully understood what they had been saying to her until she saw Maria with her own eyes. Her little sister had a bandage wrapped around her head covering both her ears as well as her eyes. They said it was to keep her now dead and eyes from dying out and even to try and stop the infection out of the wounds Maria had made to her ears as well. The doctor had guessed that either she or someone else had jammed a pencil into them to keep her off balance or deafened herself against something. There was the mix of first and second degree burns on her hands, legs and feet. From what she assumed had been the coffee her neighbours found slipping all over the entrance of her apartment. As Nicole walked her to her sister's hospital room for the first time, she thought she had spied a silhouette of a man in the window that she knew. That was impossible. Her sister's room was on the third floor of the hospital. I hope you enjoyed my first ever creepy pasta. Um, it was a real tough one to film actually, because that is, like I was saying, my first ever filming of a creepy pasta. Please comment below what you thought of the show. And remember, guys, if you love eccentric, madcap, spiffingly, awesomely, what, what, what entertainment, keep it. Subscribe to the Badger Show. Bye for now.